back to my channel my name is Naisa Esther Israel and I'm praying that all is well with you today and that you're having a great day and I want to say happy December we made it let's get it blessings on blessings peace restitute uh, restoration and uh, promises protection and everything over this month and let's get it through it and let's you know conquer another month and another year amen or Selah, so it is in the mighty name of Yahushua HaMashiach and praise Father God, Yah, for always creating us and creating all beautiful things. And I want to get to this video and I want to talk about how to get rid of demons and evil spirits from out of your house, um, how to keep them out of your house and um, different methods you can try and what's really good um, to drive them away. So we're in a period right now where paranormal activity has increased in the world. A lot of people are becoming spiritually aware of different things that go on around in the darkness and around in their lives and in their communities. And with that comes a lot of these demons who become to be either conjured up or manifested or attached to you with strongholds or attachments. So we want to do certain things to make sure that they have no foothold in our lives or even think that it's comfortable to come in our homes and terrorize us by doing certain things. So things you can do to get rid of demons and evil spirits from out of your house and from harassing you. One thing it is, is they hate the word of God. It is a sword and the spirit, it cuts right through them. So when you are playing certain Psalms in your house, Psalms 91 for protection, Psalms 23 for um, grace, and Psalms 27 for that overall um, God in your life and working in your life and giving you those blessings. And then I think it's Psalms 109 or 108 and Psalms 29 are the best psalms that terrorizes these demons and these evil entities and they cannot be in their presence we, they cannot be in your presence they cannot be in the presence of these um psalms because it just it terrorizes them it's like hearing nails on a chalkboard for them they can't stand it they have to get up out of their out of your house um i've literally seen this work in my life so wonderful to the point to where demons are letting themselves out of my house like i'm literally three four five o'clock in the morning doors opening and closing or in visions and dreams i'm seeing these evil spirits and demons leaving my house with a whole attitude so yes this drives them straight up out of there and then um next is also having joy and having a positive spirit and energy um praise will do it whenever you're singing to God or you're in good spirits and everything like that, they hate it. They only want to see gloom, doom, and misery. They want you mad. They want you irritated. But if you are an opposite of that, then you're in um, opposition towards the enemy and they can't stand it. So get up, up out of there, you know, sing a couple songs, sing praises to God, and they will eventually leave you, leave you alone. What you got to understand with a lot of these demons and these evil spirits, they are strongholds. So that means they're not going to go away right immediately. You got to do certain things to get them in the habit of knowing it's not okay to bother you. It's not okay to be up in your house. Get up out. You know, a lot of people use sage, but what we don't know is that this sage calls them in as well because they can hide in the smoke. And it does nothing but leaves a fragrance in the house uh same with incense if you need to get them out you need that spiritual blood of christ to be all over your house i'm talking about you can cover it in your windows and your wall on your walls um and your mop water while you're cleaning up or just simply say it over the house and cover your house so they know that they cannot even come in and just like and um, the story or the um, 
the story of in Moses when they where the spirit of God was coming, the spirit, no, the, the, the angel of death actually was coming to smite every newborn child or firstborn child and um, smite the pharaohs in, um, in Egypt. They had to put the blood of a lamb over their houses to, so that the, the angel of death does not come over their house. However, with us, we, don't no, longer, we no longer need a lamb. We don't no longer need a sacrificial animal. We had Christ um, who had did all the work and the sacrifice on the cross or when he made the sacrifice and was good for all of our causes. So we just need to plead the blood all over our house, over our families, and inside the house. You can make your own anointing oil, or you can buy anointing oil from your church or for someone who has high authority in the spirit realm. Um, that is a pre pre preacher or pastor or someone who you can trust, or you can take the um, anointing oil on your fast. I recommend a four day fast, a three to four day fast, a seven one if you're really bold and strong. I'm gonna try to do it this, this time, a seven day and have some olive oil fresh that you have not used praying over this olive oil with certain psalms and also being directed by the spirit and by god if you if he calls you to do that not just doing it on your own and um there's a lot of different recipes that people use uh, there in the bible they use certain spices however it says not to use that spice and I'm not sure if that's what we should be doing now so I just did my anointing oil and I said certain prayers over it I held it in my hand I spoke over it I, I, I speak uh, life into it I also uh, put um, uh, you know just said a whole bunch of different prayers and, and asked God to just guide me through it so that's what you really got to do at that point and then also when I said putting it in your mop oil you want to do a whole detail clean up your house uh, Cleanliness is next to godliness. The evil spirits, certain um, pests, and also different things. Because we know a lot of these warlocks and witches that use animals to um, go into and come in your house and terrorize you. You want to make sure that you bind them up in that animal. And if they stay in that animal, um, their spirit stays in that animal, you can, you know, get different things to kill those animals or have them be released from your house without harm but you want to always you know be in the process of not standing um standing for any of the enemy's attacks but you want to do a full detailed cleaning of your house get rid of all types of junk get all trash out get all things that darkness will hide in will trash and dust will collect collect and everything and you want to just you know even wash down the walls if you have to i'm talking baseboards and everything whatever is being attached to filth is what going to keep these entities staying in your life and staying in your house but if they have if they they say if you cast out um demons they're going to come back with seven times more so we want to make sure they're not coming back. So after we said our prayers, after we have cast them out, after we have done all we can do, continue to keep the house clean. Um, I did a um, mop water just yesterday with lavender um, uh, cleaner. With um, lavender cleaner, I did um, a bleach. I used my um, holy oil and um, just some soap and I just cleaned up the all the floors washed it down really good got a lot of the residue off and everything and went to every room and just really like went through and cleaning and and I said Psalms 91 while I did that and then I left all the uh, cleaning supplies outside my house and everything and um, then took a shower and you know said different songs and praises and everything else and these things really work when I tell you like they will definitely flee you know resist the enemy resist the devil and he will flee and you know when I was getting spiritually attacked so much and I seen like all these different orbs and spirits I mean there could be some orbs that could be angels but when it was like you don't know like who are these angels who are around you you know you can never know like you know if there's like a couple of 
familiar spirits with them as well you know it's like whoever you invite in your house also people have entities attached to them so they could be coming in the house as well and try to play games and try to you know act like they their ancestors or try to act like they an angel when they're not so you know i was done with it you know so i was about to go full exorcist on them i was finna go full exorcist and start you know really i, I started putting crosses and signs and i had salt in each corner of the house i wasn't playing i'm like come out in the name of Jesus. I wasn't playing, but now I know like what to really do. Like even if they don't come immediately, it's a process and it will eventually happen and they will escort themselves out. So that's my video. I'm putting light to the darkness and balance to the light. Shalom. He knows yesterday, the same today.